This is Tom from Never Center, and in this video, I'm going to show you the lovely new features we've added for your uh, photo enjoyment in Camera Bag Pro and Photo 2026. This is our new version to celebrate the upcoming year. Uh, I'm excited to show you what we got. So, I have this intriguing photo here of an empty computer screen. What could this be for? Um, one of the features that we've added that Frankly, uh, we've wanted most often um, when we're putting together different media for our, our various softwares is an easy way to overlay screenshots um, on an image like this. We've got a device, you've got a screen, but it's not actually rectangular, it's perspective-y. Um, so what we've done is we've enhanced our composite image tool, which uh, used to be in the photographic section. It was for doing, uh, uh, we considered it like if you had a double exposure, which is why we put it in the photographic section. But now we've moved it down into utilities by the text overlay and just called it image overlay. And uh, previously, if we uh, would select our screenshot, um, we could resize this down. It will fill whatever this rectangle is, but then you can't, you know, adjust it so that it looks like it's on the screen there. And so what we've added is this positioning control here where I can change from bounds fill to freeform. And now with freeform, as you can imagine, I can then take each of these corners here or I can select edges if I want to, or I can move the whole thing by uh, clicking and dragging in the center. Um, and then I can just position each of these corners precisely to line up with the corners of this screen here and doing this really quickly and really easily. Um, we have, in no time at all, this camera bag screen overlaid over the top of this computer, um, just like as if you had taken the photo of it, except in uh, better lighting and higher resolution. So, um, that's super handy, uh, especially for, for software makers like us or many other um, people who make social media content. When you want to have a screen, um, you, a device screen filled with certain content, this makes that very easy. And one handy thing that you can do is if you've got several device images, for example, you can make this overlay to line up with each of those and then save this as a preset, which will save its positioning. And then um, you can just load the preset with the image and then just choose a different screenshot. Um, I just got this one here. But then it's easy to swap in other screenshots then you don't have to reposition it every time. So that's a very handy use of that. Um, there's actually another really interesting use with this freeform image overlay. I'll just remove that. I'm gonna open this photo of this um, alleyway in Cambridge in England. And uh, this is a picture I took actually, and I was pointing the camera up to see the sky and, and everything. And this is a, a fine um, photo, but often with architectural photos in particular, what you'll want is, see how these vertical lines, they lean inward because of the perspective, because I was had the camera pointed upwards. And often what you actually want is for all the vertical lines to be actually vertical. And so um, this is a traditional perspective correction. And we can do this with our new image overlay tool, which I've put in my favorite section up here. But like I say, it's found by default in the utilities down here. Um, if I click on image overlay, I'm going to again change this to freeform. What I'm going to do is I'm going to load the exact same photo into that overlay. And then uh, what I'll do with this is I'm just going to stretch it so it goes over the whole image. And then I can take each of these corners and I can adjust them so that it um, corrects the perspective so that the verticals... <laughs> Excuse me. Whew. So that the verticals are actually vertical. And there are lots of ways to do this. You just have to sort of mess around with it until you find something that looks proper. But usually the, the, the correct shape will be basically trapezoidal, where the bottom or the top is, is uh, just stretched out 
um, more than than its opposite and you can adjust this you know height or whatever to make this um, look as as natural as possible but now I'll hit the forward slash button and, and this will go between the uh, before image uh, the original and then the after the perspective corrected so you see that's quite powerful and um, if I zoom into 100% here it's actually it's a it's a really nice resampling algorithm that uh, doesn't leave jaggies or anything and um, uh, gives you quite nice high resolution even after it's distorted so let me just show you a couple of other interesting things that we've um, added and improved in this version of camera bag one of them is um, let me open images side by side here and for fun we can open this same image with its uh, perspective corrected on the left and the non-perspective corrected on the right. And um, what we've done is, um, so with a tool like White Balance, um, previously when you had side-by-side -side images, whether you're doing White Balance or text positioning or anything that has controls that hover over your image, um, there were some bugs that made that not reliable. And so uh, now with things like white balance, where I, I hover over this to select the uh, a neutral gray pixel, that'll work fine in both sides of this. Um, now I'm controlling the left side, now I'm controlling the right side. Um, but then also with white balance, we, we made it use our, our, um, our default image or color picker tool. So this allows you to be able to pick the, the neutral gray, but then you can adjust it and so this just adds a little bit finer control to the white balance tool. So that's white balance. Um, another thing that we've, a uh, tool that we've expanded is the AI upscaling tool. Um, so previously this was a, a four times upscale. If I click on this, I can now choose between two times upscale and four times upscale because sometimes uh, four times is overkill and gets you a much bigger image than you want. So, um, but it still does a really, really great job. It's a really non-shady use of AI to just uh, be able to up-res something. Um, let me see what else here. Okay, um, I mentioned this favorite section. One um, handy thing that we've added is that you can now reorder these by right-clicking on them and moving up or moving down. And so um, you don't have to just stick with whatever order they got put in when you when you right clicked on something in the first place and added it to favorites. So uh, now you can organize those however you like best. Um, I will also show what we did um, with the spot mask tool. So the spot mask. Um, we updated it to work like our, our new spot exposure, which is that the radius is now controlled with this interactive radius control rather than a slider that controls the radius. And so if I just turn this to preview color to none, we'll just show it with like say saturation and I'll decrease the saturation and then I can move that spot of desaturation around. Let's make it have a really sharp edge so you can see the event horizon of that desaturation. Um, anyway, just another more intuitive tool. Uh, and then the final thing that I'll mention is um, the painted mask. And it, this is just um, something that all we did was, was work on speeding this up so that it's smoother and, and more interactive. And so um, let's say let's say we want to lighten up these walls here I'll paint this around maybe I will add some extra smoothing to uh, make that more natural looking and then I can turn off the preview color if I want to do it more let's use our, our multi tool where uh, so now this mask will be applying to that I can turn up the exposure but then it looks a little desaturated so maybe I'll add some contrast and some saturation back in. Maybe I'll go back and paint some more. Um, anyway, it's just all smoother, better. Um, so 
that's kind of what we're, we're working on. Several of these things were users submitted um, either bugs or suggestions. And so don't hesitate to leave a comment or to write into us. And let us know what you think or other tools, the next thing that you're looking for. Um, we'd love to consider it, add everything that we can as fast as we can. Um, but we hope you'll love this. We hope you'll uh, enjoy Camera Bag throughout the year 2026. And we'll keep adding and making cool stuff for you. Thanks.